Brooks, Nooks, Eaglin, and Big Leon Brooks. It got me with that last hit. That last little little snare there uh, gets me every time. Snooks, Eaglin, and Big Leon Brooks for the Blues break this morning. I've said it before, and I'll say it again. I love irony almost as much as I loved Sarah Mullaney in the fifth grade. I've changed, Sarah. And sure, I revenge kidnapped your dog, but we both know that restraining order was an overreaction. Anyway, irony is a beautiful thing, and I really mean that. It's one of the only comedic literary techniques that occurs in real life. And when it does, it's sort of this beautifully uh, balanced event. You know what I mean? Like action, reaction, yin, yang, child annoying, child abuse. It's like binary code of comedy. Like um, a calculus professor failing an algebra quiz. <laughs> Or a, a water park in sub-Saharan Africa. Or me having any sense of pride or self-worth. But I'm getting ahead of myself. The truly beautiful examples are the things that really happened. You know, those things that I mentioned, they're just hypothetical besides the third one. No, I want to share with you a true story. A true ironic story from the deep past. Imagine, if you will, 2013. The Wolf of Wall Street and The Great Gatsby had just come out, and Leonardo DiCaprio still did not have an Oscar. The world said goodbye to South African civil rights hero Nelson Mandela, and hello to Prince George. That's a terrible trade. We join our hero, Darren Baldwin. Darren was a warehouse assembly worker, and he and his co-workers, they were worked relentlessly day in and day out with strict deadlines and threats of pay cuts to keep them in line. Darren was miser miserably stressed out, as you might be in a situation like that. He couldn't take much more. So when Darren's boss came in one morning and told Darren that his pay was being decreased, Darren took a deep breath and punched his boss in the face before pulling out a John Bender from the Breakfast Club switchblade and threatening to, quote, cut him up. Luckily, no one in the encounter was severely injured, and Darren was taken to jail, but you can't help but feel sorry for the guy. I mean... It really goes to show what stress can do to a person. And it's especially tragic because the warehouse that Darren worked in made stress balls. Eh? Hey, tune into The Juke. It's the show that airs every Sunday right here on WMSV, 6 p.m. to midnight. It's blues music, blues that reminds you don't punch people, okay? Unless they deserve it, then please punch people. I got Mondo Cosmo up next once again this morning. It's automatic. I'm Brock St. Clair. It's WMSV.